Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today will be talking about media queries. Um, before we talk about media queries, I would like to show you uh, a published preview in Google Chrome of a web page. Now, uh, please pay all your attention to these two words, some examples and the border that is all around it. See what happens as I uh, change the width and the height of the uh, browser here. See what happens carefully. Okay, so as I expand the browser nothing really happens but let's see what happens as I uh, crunch the browser. Uh, suddenly you saw that the appearance of uh, these two words changed. Uh, first of all they were right aligned. The direction property was set to RTL which means right to left. It suddenly became left to right and uh, the appearance all around changed. It looks like a button now. Earlier it look, looked like a text field. Uh, I'll show it to you again. See? See the change? Right. And uh, when I crunch it even further okay uh, see the change even uh, as I uh, you know change the width there okay and you see at one point it actually disappears when I you know when the minimum width falls below 480 px uh, it actually disappears so what exactly is happening out here uh, why uh, did you see the appearance change the direction property change uh, and uh, you know see this is all happening because of media queries what exactly is media queries then is the big question so let's read out the definition out here it says by using media queries web pages can be tailored to a specific range of output devices without changing the content itself we know that uh, the tablets the uh, smartphones are getting uh, very popular these days everybody seems to be carrying them and uh, browsing on them on the go uh, that that has uh, made it uh, uh, a little difficult for web developers to adapt their web pages to different screen sizes different resolutions different devices and that is why this media queries uh, came into the picture let's see what exactly they do uh, and how do we uh, you know tailor to a specific range of output devices without changing the content itself we can do this by using a different css file for different medias like uh, braille embossed handheld print projection screen speech tdy tv or all all stands for everything all these uh, medias or uh, alternatively we can apply them to features like color or uh, color index device aspect ratio device height uh, device width grid width height monochrome resolution or scan these are different uh, features that we find in different devices different output devices where you can see the web page so as a criteria we usually set both the media type and the features and depending on the media type and the feature we can uh, and also they can you know the the uh, media queries uh, can also be based on the orientation of the device which is uh, landscape or portrait so what happens media uh, queries are written in such a manner that uh, if the let's say the uh, you know the web page is uh, landscape apply this css file if it is uh, monochrome apply this css file if the min width is this and the max width is this apply this CSS file uh, width and height uh, properties are used a lot uh, in conjunction with media queries but as I said the orientation is another if your device is color or monochrome that's another device aspect ratio is yet another okay so let's look at some examples this is one example this should be actually PX out here see if the uh, if the media is actually uh, has a min width then apply this internal CSS file if the min width is so and so and this is the and keyword uh, the orientation of the browser 
or of the devices so and so then apply this uh, internal uh, style sheet uh, if it is TV and the max width is uh, so and so and the orientation is so and so then apply this uh, internal style sheet so these are a few examples of uh, how do you apply internal style sheets uh, this is uh, here is an example of how you would apply an external style sheet using the link tag relationship attributes style sheet media screen and min width 800 and max width uh, 1080 so targeting all devices which have a screen which are displayed on the screen and have a min width of 800 and a max width of 1080 so basically tailoring or catering to a specific width only if that is the case then href I'm pointing to a CSS file which is CSS forward slash desktop dot CSS just an example people this is how uh, media queries uh, are written L let's see how these two words some examples uh, were actually changing their direction here they were uh, RTL that's right to left uh, and the border looked like uh, you know a text field suddenly that looks like a button when I crunch it and the direction property changes from uh, RTL to LTR so I am also uh, telling you know I'm also uh, making you aware of two properties the appearance property which doesn't work in all browsers does actually work in uh, Chrome and the uh, direction property very similar to the way uh, float property is or the uh, text align property is there are subtle differences but it's, it's a little different okay uh, comes very close to that so let's learn these two properties as well as how would you write uh, media queries let's check out with this example where I've used these two words some example cool uh, before I take you through the CSS, let me uh, go through the HTML of my uh, web page. We have the opening body tag out here, uh, the closing body tag out here, then we have an H3 element out here, some H4 elements. Uh, let me go to the live view, sorry. We have an H3 uh, element out here, an H4 element out here. We have the H2 tag encapsulated by the code tag where you find these two words some examples uh, in between okay uh, we have a line breakout here and NBSP stands for line uh, you know non breaking space encapsulated in the P tag that's almost like a line break okay we have the H3 uh, element here here and here okay and that's where we close the body tag all right so we are actually affecting only these two words which are encapsulated in the h2 uh, elements which in turn further are encapsulated in the code uh, tag opening closing code tag <coughs> excuse me okay now i've written some inline style to affect these two words okay we have the uh, doc type declaration out here. I'm using HTML5 just to keep things simple. You know, it looks neat and tidy. Uh, opening style tag out here, and we have the closing style tag out here. Okay, now this is the way the media query was written for a device or browsers which portray themselves as portrait. So. I've written out here code uh, greater than h2 basically uh, a child selector if h2 is the immediate child of code if h2 is inside code then immediately inside code then I would want the direction property to be LTR and the WebKit appearance uh, the moment you mention WebKit means that it's going to affect only uh, WebKit browser Chrome and Safari appearance property I've set it to button with have set to 30 percent but if the orientation is a landscape this is the way you write and media so if the media is actually screen and the orientation is a landscape change the direction from LTR to um, RTL right to left webkit uh, text field so it should not look like a button anymore if the orientation is a landscape it should look like a text field the width should be unchanged but if the max width uh, is 48 is uh, uh, 480 
and the orientation is portrait uh, hide it using the display property and setting it to none so the moment um, it you know you crunch the web page enough so that the max width uh, is 480 or below obviously uh, these two words uh, are going to hide themselves because the display property has been set to a none and that is why it actually hides itself okay people so I hope I've uh, conveyed how media queries uh, are written how media queries actually work uh, let me tell you they work in IE 9 plus and uh, most contemporary modern browsers all right in case uh, you're worried about IE 6 7 and 8 uh, there's a bit of uh, Jake uh, you know JavaScript uh, that you can uh, easily find off the internet and uh, you can use that too all right so people uh, let me wind the tutorial here but before that I would again like to show you uh, publish preview in Google Chrome look here the direction is uh, LTR left to right uh, because the orientation is a landscape now it is actually a portrait doesn't look like a button anymore it looks uh, as if it's a uh, surrounded by a text field which exactly it is as you can see out here text field All right and the direction is RTL right to left okay and I'm gonna show you that the moment I reach for ADPX or below it's gonna hide itself it's not there anymore alright uh, here I've used the direction uh, property I've used the width uh, property but uh, you could have used uh, and the display property but you could have used any other property too and that is how uh, by using media queries web pages can be tailored to a specific range of output devices without changing the content itself that is what the definition actually means so people I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I also hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day bye bye peace peace